Hi, I'm Lila from Nevolution, and today I'll be commenting on Neville Goddard's 1969 lecture, The Awakening of Faith. Neville says, I was born on a little island called Barbados. The island is just like a large farm where everything is planted in order to produce a dollar. We planted sugarcane, from which we received its produce of molasses, rum, etc. When I was a child, we had no chemical fertilizers. The animal products, called manure, were used to put life back into the fields. When we would scatter this on the field to fertilize it, we would call it broadcasting. This was long before telephone, radio, or television. Now we have a broadcasting industry which tells us that we will lose our hair, teeth, and everything if we don't buy a certain product. Isn't that BS? And then from BS, they go to MS. That's more of the same thing as it's piled higher and higher. That's the world. So let no one here make you feel little. You are God. He is buried in you as your own wonderful human imagination. Neville is trying to awaken you because we forget we're a mystical being and we start to feel we're just this limited, temporary body and mind, and we start to get lost in our own creations, and we give it power, and we believe ourselves to be limited. And all the things in our 3D reality reflect the limitations we mistake in ourselves to be. But somewhere, you too can feel the BS. You too, at times, have felt the ability to tap into some greater power, or you've heard the testimonials and realized the potential of the power that we have in totally transforming the lives and in miraculous healings. So Neville is simply reminding you of this. You are reminded now. You're not this little so-and-so that is so dependent on so many things on the outside. But you too can learn to use your imagination to create the things you want right from the source. So Neville goes on to teach you how to do this, how to test this out because he does realize it can be quite a challenge. Neville says, If Jesus Christ is in you, and you know he is your human imagination, which you believe creates reality, you can test him by imagining that you are what, at the moment, your reason denies, and your senses deny. Now can you believe in your imagination? Can you awaken your faith in the true God who is your human imagination? Try it. Walk as though you were the person you desire to be. Ask yourself how you would feel if it were true, for feeling creates life. We can hear these great mystical truths, and for many people the truth resonates within, and for some it sounds totally unbelievable. Well, why not test it out? Because as you test it out, and you build your successes, that's how your faith will be built, to the point, perhaps you'll walk on water. What is it you want to be? How would it feel to walk as though you already were what you wanted to be, or that you had what you wanted to have? Simply ask yourself, how would it feel if it were true? That feeling is creating your reality. Neville says, everything is possible to imagine, but it takes faith to create its reality. First you must hear, then acceptance will come through faith. So as Neville is saying, you have the power to imagine anything. And if you can properly persist in that, that blind faith will create your reality. And ne- But what is it that prevents people from succeeding? Neville says, The average person does not believe in himself. Before I wrote the first chapter in my book, Your Faith is Your Fortune, I wrote one little line saying, Man's faith in God is measured by his confidence in himself. I can't tell you what criticism I have had because of that statement, but it's still there, for I know it is true. Your faith in God is measured by your confidence in yourself, because your true self is God. So how could a man call upon himself when he does not believe in himself? And how can he believe when he has never been told? And how can he be told unless there is no preacher? And how can there be a preacher unless he has sent? So one who has experienced scripture is sent, as I have been sent. And as Neville said, that's the problem. We don't believe in ourself. We don't believe in ourselves so much, many people don't really bother to really test this out. They don't persist. They're quick to give up. 
and some don't even bother to try, have we lost that much belief? How would it feel if we believed in ourselves? How would the world be if it was common for people to believe in themselves? People don't believe, so they don't test. But what would it be like if you tested this out and you persisted, and you succeeded and started to have many successes, and you believed in yourself? How would that feel? It feels wonderful, doesn't it? And the world would become wonderful, wouldn't it? Finally, Neville says, So I say to you, you don't owe anything to anyone because God himself became you. Even though you can't pay rent and you haven't eaten much today, within you is the being who owns the universe, who created and sustains it. His name is I Am. Rather than calling upon this name, call with this name by saying, I am free. I am wealthy. I am rich. I am healthy. The I am that you are is the creative power of the universe. And because of this, Neville cannot meet anyone he does not respect. It may be the very person who shines his shoes, but Neville realizes he is God. I am shining my own shoes in the being who is doing it and I respect him. He has to pay rent, buy food and clothing, just like you. So as Neville said here, Know now what you truly are and all that you can truly do. You own the universe. You created it, sustain it, and can even destroy. Your name is I Am, and you can call things into being with your name. What is it that you want to call into being? I Am, and you can put anything you want after that. What does your heart really want? And sometimes as we spiritually grow, our desires also grow with us. But right now, what is it that you really want? Call with your name, I am. And now, let us go into the silence. Good. <laughs> 